So I decided to make a little video on um, how to uh, service the, the hub on a Novatech this on my uh, 4C uh, Diamondback release and um, heard a lot of people have problems with uh, clunking sounds or even the um, free hub and hub failing so I decided to make a little video uh, first uh, you're gonna need um, a, a tool to remove the uh, the freewheel or the, uh, the cassette I mean uh, so you're gonna need a whip you're gonna need the part uh, tool that fits in there this is the FR 5.2 you're also going to need, of course, some grease. I have two types of grease here. I'll go over, uh, once I open that up, uh, why these are kind of thin greases. You don't want anything too thick. I wouldn't put bearing grease in there. And I find that the park grease is a little too thick, too. And then you're going to need a cone wrench uh, to fit in there, too. All right. So uh, let me. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. This is pretty self-explanatory, this. You're just going to put the whip, remove the cassette, and then I'll show you how to remove the, um, the actual uh, free hub. So you're going to notice there's a little rubber uh, ring there, the rubber seal. Um, in my other my um, other video where I was uh, talking about squeaks and stuff, um, when I first had this bike, that seal had come out of that, and when you turn the, uh, the hub, the free hub, the seal would turn, and you, it present it as a little squeak um, when I was uh, backpedaling you could hear squeak squeak or when I was uh, uh, coasting uh, so for this you're gonna need on this side you're gonna remove this cap okay for this one it's uh, grooved in there so you're gonna need a cone wrench in order to fit it in there okay on the other side you can use a regular uh, wrench because it's open face it's not grooved like the other side so you can use a wrench there um, I actually already had loosened this so it comes right off so uh, holding this I'm gonna unscrew this cap from the axle and then you can see the seal bearing in there just push the axle through make sure you don't touch your um, your rotor you don't get grease on your rotor okay and when you push, now this is going to be grease because I had already serviced it. I just decided to um, make a video on how to service it. Uh, you can pull the whole thing out. And um, set that on a rag. You don't want to get any kind of crud on there. You can see the seal bearing in there. Uh, you can see the splines. I actually have them nice and, and, um, and greased. Uh, first time I took this apart, it, um, it was dry in there. Um, and uh, that took care of some clonking noise okay that it had so I'm just gonna clean this there's one of those rags that on my other video I got um, I got at Harbor Freight a little five pack for 99 cents and um, I'm just gonna clean it and just re-grease it while I'm here <coughs> but <coughs> uh, if you can see that was pretty thin grease and what I used was this um, this design uh, for uh, uh, places where there's um, uh, splines and there's going to be uh, high pressure. <coughs> it's uh, rather uh, thinnish grease. <coughs> this is hard to find um, in most places. I had to order this for when I rebuilt my car. They, this is what they re recommended on the splines uh, to the transmission. And um, so I had that laying around. But another good lube would be the super lube, which is pretty um, rather, it's not that thick. It's not as thick as bearing grease. And also the parks uh, regular grease. Uh, what happens is if you put something too thick, you're going to fill those up, right? And it's going to create resistance. So if there's a lot of grease in there, um, it's uh, actually going to prevent the paws from engaging in there as well, right? Because it's going gonna, it's gonna, to uh, actually uh, take up some space. Speaking of paws, that's the other thing. Um, on this is, uh, what, five? Um, first time I took this apart, uh, these were just really dry. So same thing if they get if they stick I hope it's uh, it's on camera but if they stick they're not gonna catch right same thing if you put a really really thick grease on there um, they're gonna get a little sticky and they're gonna be a little slower uh, to uh, to react to uh, rebound uh, actually right there you can see it Whoop. you can see it stick close right there see that 
and then now it's open. If I just hold it, well now, now I, I loosened it up. But same thing, a little too much grease is going to make those paws stick and then they're not going to engage. So you don't want anything too thick, okay, or too much grease. So I'm going to clean this up and you can take the axle off. There's a Okay, so I'll clean all that up. You can see how thin that grease is. You don't want to go any thicker than that. And there's a little um, spacer there, a little uh, ring there. Okay, and, and your seal. So I'm just going to wipe that clean. Alright. And you can see how they, they spring. Even that was maybe a little too much grease. They spring a little better. So that excess grease I just removed from there and um, there's still grease inside there you can see all right and then same thing I'm just going to put a light 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 even lighter this time coating <coughs> of grease nothing heavy and I'll show you the viscosity of this stuff see now I have to knead it because it's separated a little bit, but you see that's very, very thin. It's almost oily and um, you can just put a little bit, a little bit of that stuff there. Not enough to, um, so you want enough to lubricate it, but not to fill those gaps where you might get into a little bit of trouble. So now, you know, I can feel that even with that little bit, it's nice and slick so you don't get uh, back drag. So, you know, when you're coasting, there's, uh, there's enough uh, lube there so that the friction doesn't hold up your freewheel. And I'm um, probably going to put a dab, a little dab of grease, just very little on top of those paws, not too much. So um, too much grease is going to be counterproductive. All right, so we're going to put all this together. It's hot and humid outside, so I'm sweating right here. Try not to get any sweat into that. You don't want that sweaty, that uh, oily, uh, not oily, that salty sweat in your um, in your hub or on your parts. All right, so I put a light coat of grease. See, you, there's no buildup there. Just a really light coat of that light grease. You gotta insert your um, and I um, lightly grease the, the the axle. Okay, I'm gonna push it through. Don't forget that little washer. Okay, so we got the washer there. And then you can see, so that feels nice and slick without being uh, having buildup or being uh, too greased up. And I'm gonna just kind of sometimes it's a pain in the butt to get those teeth in there. All right, so usually if you hold it down, couple down, and there you go. And then don't forget, this is important, don't forget to get that seal back into the hub. Okay, so that rubber seal needs to go into that the groove in that hub. If not, you're just going to... All your grease is going to come out and you're going to get water and dirt in there and then you're going to have twice as many problems as you did before. So, all right, looks like it's all in. Yep, so the seal, rubber seal all the way around. Now you're just going to come around, hold the axle on the other side and screw that guy in all right I want to tighten just a little bit not not too much but just so it doesn't come loose <clears throat> i've also heard of people having this come loose then they get play on the hub on the uh, free hub and the free hub gets damaged or the uh, or the hub itself gets damaged all right so gotta make sure just give it a little a little tight all right and that should be enough just so that I can't remove it with my fingers. 
but there's no binding, okay? But it's more than finger tight. All right, and that's pretty much it. So you got the seal in, got the hub. You should, it should engage a little better now, okay? And um, if you have a, if you've been dealing with a clunking sound uh, or a clicking sound from your free hub, usually that takes care of it. That's how uh, mine showed up first. I would pedal under pressure, clunk, clunk, as the um, the uh, the paws uh, skipped on the teeth, and. Um, it's probably because it wasn't engaging. Once I greased it up, hasn't been a problem. And um, if you don't have that other um, Molly Poly Molly, use some uh, Super Lube, which is rather thin. Don't use too much. That you know. Other than that, you should be good. And I hope that helps. That if you have problems with your hub, you can do this yourself at home and um, save yourself a lot of money and save yourself your drivetrain. All right. In the long run, I'll probably be buying another wheel, but for now, as long as you do a little maintenance, it works perfect.